Greetings friends, this is Jim Orbe for Pathways of Hope. So, do we really recognize who John the Baptist really was and what was his purpose? Our reading for this Sunday as we enter into the third week of Advent is from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 6 to 8 and 19 to 28. Here, we hear of the description of John the Baptist by John the Apostle, that he is a man sent from God whose name was John. If we recall in the account of the evangelist Luke in chapter 1 on how the angel appeared to Zechariah, the father of John, announcing of the pregnancy of Elizabeth, his barren wife, and that even the name John was given to him by the angel. John came as a witness to bear witness about the light and all might have believed through him, through Jesus. Again, if we continue reading the Gospel of John in chapter 5, Jesus will speak of several witnesses who bear testimony concerning him. The Gospel of John has this witness theme. The evangelist, uh, the writer, uh, also named John, in his Gospel parades before the reader a multitude of witnesses who bear testimony of Jesus' true messianic identity. And this is the testimony of John that he is not the Christ, as he said in chapter 1. Christos, that's the Greek word or even the Latin for Christ. In Hebrew, that means the anointed one. He said that he is neither Elijah or the prophet. He is not Elijah who never died. Yeah, it's written in the Old Testament, we can find that in the book of Kings. And Elijah, who was expected to return in the end times, many of the Old Testament prophets like Malachi prophesy that Elijah will come again to restore all things. And though John the Baptist resembled Elijah in his rugged lifestyle, he denied that he himself was Elijah. Though Jesus, understanding more than, about, more than John about this, saw John as fulfilling the prophecy about Elijah. We can find this in the other gospel. In Matthew chapter 11, verses 13 to 14, Jesus said, For all the prophets and the law, the Old Testament, prophesied until John and if you are willing to accept it he is Elijah who is to come so all the prophets and the law uh, written in the Old Testament prophesied until John John the Baptist was the last of a long history of Old Testament prophets that look forward to the coming of Christ the Savior, the Anointed One, the Christ. He is Elijah who is to come. Malachi, the prophet Malachi in the Old Testament, prophesied that Elijah would prepare the way for the Messiah. It's in Malachi chapter 3, verses 4 and 5. He did not actually imply only a literal reappearance of Elijah, and John's earlier denial that he was Elijah was probably an attempt to correct a popular belief that Elijah himself would reappear. Before John's birth, he was designated as the one who would minister in the spirit and power of Elijah in Luke chapter 1 verses, verse 17, thereby fulfilling Malachi's prophecy. The coming of the prophet was predicted even by Moses himself. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15 and 18, it says, 
the Lord your God will raise up a prophet like me from among you, from your brethren. Him you shall heed. I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. So, John is the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, in keeping with the prophet Isaiah's words, by preaching a word of repentance and divine judgment. This messenger of God was to prepare the way for the Lord God of the Old Testament, Yahweh himself, to come to his people through the wilderness. So friends, in this Advent season, we are reminded of this truth. Let the voice of John the Baptist help us prepare for the coming of the Lord in our lives. May we change our ways and believe in the good news of His salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will come again no longer as a baby, but as the King of kings and Lord of lords, who will judge heaven and earth. God bless us all.